The claim of the other commentators in line 6 suggests that they believe which of the following. So it says here that, that these commentators insist that Notre Dame did not have flying buttresses until the 13th and 14th century. Here's the important part where it says when, when they did what? Well, when they were added, when the buttresses were added to update the building aesthetically and corrected structural flaws. So basically uh, an uh, ex aesthetic update would be a important clue here. So this aesthetic update can be matched best with answer choice E. It was originally constructed in an architectural style that was considered outmoded by the 13th to 14th century. And that's why in the 13th, 14th century, they said, hey man, this looks old school. So let's make, we need to touch it up, make it look better. Give it an aesthetic update. And therefore E is the answer. Now let's take a look here at B. It's the design flaws were not apparent until flying buttresses were added in the 13th to 14th century. That's twisting things around a little bit. What it's saying is they, we're actually hiding these aesthetic flaws. It's not that they only became apparent once they built the buttresses. Again, the buttresses were built to hide the flaws. So we can get rid of answer choice B. Let's bring B over here. And out with B. C, it's flying buttresses are embellished with decoration characteristic of the 13th and 14th centuries. Do we know that? No, again, they were just given an aesthetic facelift. Do we know if that faceless, that decoration was characteristic of the 13th and 14th centuries? We don't know. Does not say. So don't read too much into that. And again, the answer is E.